Uh, the graphic that is on our live stream is just a photo of CM Punk that says WTF question mark. And that was my original thought when I saw the news that Brian Alvarez alerted you to was what in the F is going on? So I'm going to read and get your immediate feedback. I'm going to read Josh Nason's story on the website, which he credited the uh, information coming from PW Insider's Mike Johnson. So uh, Mike Johnson reported, including Punk was in Florida doing MMA commentary work, was on a flight back to Chicago that had some WWE talents on it. While sitting with said talents, he learned Raw was happening in Chicago and showed up in the afternoon, brought in by other talents. Punk talked to several people backstage in the common area, including The Miz and Paul Levesque. According to Mike Johnson's report, uh, from someone who saw the interaction, Punk and let's just call him Triple H, shook hands and asked if he asked if they could talk for a few minutes. Triple H said he had to make sure that was okay with Vince. Huh? Why did why why did he need Vince's okay here? That that's that's a question I have. Um, and so then uh, he got uh, they, I think he had to leave the. Uh, scenarios but he and Miz cleaned some stuff up um and yeah so that's that's the situation they did not allow punk to hang out for very long so what what is like you have you can you have a spidey sense of these things sometimes like a little bit what could be the possible reasons that CM Punk wanted to visit WWE backstage um I mean, we'll, we'll go through some of the stories that we heard. One was that he was looking for a job. I don't think that's the case. I don't think that's the possibility here. Uh, I, I think he was probably, you know, he's hot in the news right now. And, uh, you know, the, one of the stories was that he wants to kind of uh, break bread with these guys a little bit. And he had some issues with certain talent. And he kind of wants to squash all the beef to kind of show like, hey, listen, I'm willing to work. You know, I'm willing to do this. I'm okay, but to get that past all of this. Doesn't that just contradict what you just said that he's not looking for future work? I don't th I don't think, you know, I mean, I, he's under a contract, yeah. you know? So he can't go anywhere. I also heard I, I spoke to someone there and they were everybody speculating on what happened, right? That Vince threw him out and Hunter threw him out and security threw him out. Uh that 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 part that you said that he had to ask Vince. Yeah. Um, I, I had heard that, and when it was explained to me, they said they didn't want it to look like there was any sort of contract tampering or any sort of that's, that's uh, smart. situation to happen, which makes the most sense here, right? Yeah. Like, I yeah, don't think does, WWE was sense. looking to embarrass him and tell him to leave and, you know, just grab him and throw him out the door. Like um, Jazzy Jeff I, on the Fresh Prince. Like Jazz, Uncle yeah, Phil like Jazzy Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine Uncle, Uncle Hunter just throws him out? <laughs> <laughs> One of those. <laughs> but it, it to me, it's more a legal matter. You know, this guy has a problem in AEW. They just announced his comeback. He shows up in WWE hanging out, you know, in the back and he wants to talk to Hunter. You know, can he do that legally? Can he have yeah. that conversation? Would he be considered but, okay. contract tampering? So, you know what else he probably has is Triple H's cell phone number, right? He probably does have sure. that. Yeah. So some of this also had to be the pomp and circumstance of showing up and you know yeah. some of, who, who in wwe is going to immediately blurt out to some of the writers uh some of the, the the podcasters or maybe he wanted that maybe he sort of helped blurt that out who knows I, i'm not i don't know who's the reporting was was from obviously no no one knows the sources but there there was some showmanship here from CM Punk to do it this way. He, he, yeah. because you could literally just call Triple H and just be like, uh, you know, hey, dude, what's going on? Let's, let's make a mess. Man, here. it's Buzz. It's Buzz. They have a huge yeah. show that's debuting on June 17th. Uh, he's coming back. He's been, he's been the topic. We have been talking about CM Punk for almost a year now, nonstop. The last, yeah, he hasn't done, I mean, the hasn't last month. Anything. And he's done nothing, right? I mean, it's it shows you that the, the marketability and the draw power of this guy, that that everybody's talking about him. 
And the second he goes backstage, it's more of a story. I, I do say, I do have to say, I did reach out to a couple of people, uh, it, it, you know, and I kind of got like a little bits and pieces, but unanimously, everybody found this to be beyond hysterical. Yeah. Almost every person I spoke to in WWE finds this entire scenario that he got on a plane with WWE talent, showed up in Chicago and went to the arena and, and like hung out there for like 20 minutes as just, can it get any more pro wrestling than this? Absolutely. Does this happen in the NBA? Did Michael Jordan ever <laughs> get on the Knicks plane and show up in, in, you know, and hang out with the New York Knicks in New York in the locker room? I don't think that happens. No, because he wanted to fight them all. That's why. <laughs> yeah, because he wanted they to were, fight them they, all. They were hammering him and taking <laughs> shots at him, and he wanted to fight them. That's why he wouldn't have done it. Listen, what a great okay. pro wrestling story, though, huh? <laughs> okay, so here's some, some other things that I wanted to bring up in relation to this. So... We believe, most everybody believes, that there is this Saturday show, which is a concession for CM Punk to come back so that you don't, you know, you split up the, the shows so that the people who don't want to do business with Punk can be on one show. Punk and his friends can be on this other show. Uh, the, you have this soft split, this, you know, split tour or whatever you want to call it. So to me, it looks very much like Tony Khan is doing his best to placate this CM Punk situation. Uh, you may, maybe for the elite or others who don't like him, maybe they would have preferred that he just not bring him back. But Tony's trying to get some money back on his investment. And if this turns into some, some buku bucks for his company, then it's probably the right move if CM Punk had to be attached to this show. I mean, so Brandon know Thurston is reporting that it's potentially... Uh, I bel I, I gotta I, I gotta read the exact quote. I I don't want to. You know what? I'm gonna take yeah, it back. Yeah, I'm not quoting him, but from what I understood, Brandon suggested that this could be upwards of 74 million dollars between the two shows, and that's getting you closer to that 100 million dollar mark that you know we've we've heard circulate out there. Sure. So you know, going from 48 million or 54 million to 78 million dollars, if that is the number, is is tremendous. And Tony could do a lot with that money. Yeah. Okay. So, so already paid off. So now it looks like Tony Khan is doing his best to make sure that Punk could come back and be safe or whatever. But he's Tony Khan is also going to make out on this deal. So it's not just the fact that CM Punk is making out. Tony Khan, the company, they're, they're making out if they are making that kind of money. Wouldn't you think, though, if CM Punk showed up on WWE or showed up backstage at WWE, if this wasn't some sort of combined effort from Tony and, and Punk to create interest, like you said, let's create some interest. And Tony's got an announcement coming up on Wednesday. We don't know what that is, though. I think you and Brian Alvarez are both thinking it might be video game related. But so we have all these things where it looks like the boss is doing everything he can to make sure that Punk gets what he wants. If this is not a combined sort of idea from the both of them, doesn't it look from the outside? That punk is like messing with him. Um, you know, I, I, I don't think that's the case. I, I, I would, I would hope not, right? I, I would. They're, they're just making up, so I don't think you're going to. Something I said two weeks ago or or last week on the show was Punk's legacy moving forward, right? And AEW's legacy moving forward, if. You know, God forbid, I know, listen, man, I know a lot of detractors exist about AEW, but there's a ton of people that absolutely love the pro wrestling style of it. I'm one of those people. I love the pro wrestling style that they have on TV. I like the long matches. I like to watch wrestling. Not taking a shot at WWE with that statement. But if AEW were to go away within the next couple of years, for whatever reason, the story will always be CM Punk. And CM Punk was the beginning of the end. You know, that was the moment that everything changed for that company with him exiting the way he did. He doesn't want that on his legacy. This guy was never, I mean, you've watched the documentaries. You've heard his interviews. He was always told he's not the guy. He was always told he's unathletic. He'll never make it with that look. His style isn't what people want to see. And this guy ended up becoming one of the biggest names in the business. And he doesn't want this on his legacy. That's what you're left with. So does he want bad, two bad UFC matches and this disaster <laughs> of an exit out of WWE and this disaster exit out of AEW. No, nobody wants that for themselves. And this is a guy that loves professional wrestling. 
Regardless if you think Punk is right or wrong, at the end of the day, this guy does not want his legacy to be that he was toxic. You know, a lot of Hogan comparisons and stuff like that. He doesn't want that. And I don't see him, unless something recently happened that we don't know over the last 48 hours, that this guy said, F Tony, I'm showing up in, AEW, in WWE and seeing what happens here. Okay, you know, now the, could he, it be? Uh, it could be that it could be that him and Tony were like, "Hey, you know what would really get a buzz? I, they're going to Chicago. I'm just going to show up there and see what happens." Could this be a leverage possibility? Now, I, I don't like leverage. More, more, maybe more of a power possibility to kind of remind, you know, Tony Khan that hey, you know, there's this other option over here, and if I make all I got to do is be friends with these guys again and you know, use my charm and they, they may want me back. Like, heck, you know, maybe I, you know, maybe I'll be in WrestleMania, you know, in a couple of years or something like, I wonder, because I think the problem with this and the reason why you can't really have a, an unbiased opinion about CM Punk right now, because everything that you talk about CM Punk, you're, you're sort of relating to the, the press conference at, at all out and how he acted yeah. what looked like to us to be someone who's like trying to set to set the company on fire this is what it looked like and so now everything that he does from here on out has that bias to it so yeah it makes yeah. a lot of sense for me to believe that people think that he's just screwing around again and you know kind of putting pressure on tony like maybe there's a contract uh, that uh, he wants to get the contract taken care of for the next three years. Like, who knows any of that? But, but, but you basically know what, what I'm saying is Here, we can't. Here's the thing, though. Did he, CM Punk look good in this? Like, did he come off looking like he's in control of the situation? I think he came off I guess off it depends more, what side. I, I think he comes off more like, I see it as him trolling, right? Regardless if he's trolling the audience or WWE or he's getting more buzz for himself, he's working. That's how I saw this. I didn't see this as a contract negotiation tactic or an F you to Tony. I hope it's not, right? Because, uh, listen, man, I don't know CM Punk. Uh, I've had a couple of conversations with Tony Khan. I, I know that I very much like pro wrestling, and I don't like... Uh, the, the, I don't, I don't want either company to suffer. I think it's important for both companies to, to flourish and do great. So I, I don't, if, if he is flexing his muscle to Tony, I think that's a, that's a really dumb move. It, Especially do, it does seem dumb to me too. And which is why I can't say whether that's the truth or not. Like who knows? It just would seem like CM Punk seems like a, a smart guy. Like he seems like, you know, maybe we're giving him too much credit, but you know, is there reason behind everything that he does, even when it looks like he's trying to burn down the company? Uh, there, there's, you know, there's a there's a thought that, yeah, you know, maybe I, I can't say that this was my initial thought, but maybe he was really trying to make amends. Maybe he's like, gosh, you know, I the way that I left those guys was bad and I've bad mouthed some of these guys. So maybe it's best, you know, clear my conscience and really apologize. Like maybe maybe there is something to that. I, I don't, But again. You know, we have this bias when we think about this guy. So it's hard to believe that that is the reason. 